the sweaty Sundays. on the sweaty Sundays. All right. All right. All right. I hear you guys loud and clear, fellas. Welcome, everybody, to another fabled episode of Sweaty Sunday. It's been a bit for one of these. Yeah, it really has. But I love this series to death, and I want to start doing more of them with all the new content we got coming out this year. So, for the uninitiated, Sweaty Sunday is basically a series where I race against the profit per hour listed on the wiki for eight hours straight with the absolute max gear and the sweatiest methods to see if I can beat it. And I'll tell you what, I'm here and I'm ready to get going. First things first, I would like to thank the sponsor for today's video, Opera GX. I'm 99% sure that you guys have heard of Opera GX at this point, but if you haven't, let me introduce it to you. Opera GX is an insanely awesome browser with a lot of customization and features, so let's check it out. Hands down, the best thing about this is all of the accessibility features that come with it. As a content creator, I am very much used to doing a million things all at the same time, and it can be very, very difficult to keep track of everything. I used to have 10 applications open, cluttering at my desktop at all times. However, Opera GX has integrations for literally everything I need. If you log into your Twitch, you can get live notifications from your favorite streamers, like me. You also have tabs for Discord, Twitter, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, literally everything that I use to communicate on a daily basis. So all those pesky windows are gone. If that's not enough, there's also the GX Player, which allows you to log into Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music directly from the sidebar. The GX Player lets you keep your favorite streaming services in one place. So whenever you start streaming video or audio in one of your browser tabs, the player will automatically pause and and then automatically resume once the tab is finished. My second favorite thing has to be all of the cool customization options. Now, instead of opening another browser and being immediately blinded by a white page, Opera has a browser-wide dark mode, thank God, with a bunch of different neon accents and customization to choose from. If that's not enough, there's also the GX Corner, where you can go to stay up to date with a bunch of hand-curated free games, the best deals, and gaming news all in one place. Opera GX is also available on mobile, and it is a great companion to the desktop version. You can connect the two with Flow so that you can send over video files, uh, links, notes, all with a single click. I highly recommend you guys check this out, so once again, a huge thank you to Opera GX, and remember to check the link down below to download Opera today. So I'm going to get into the details as I kill this thing, so get ready, because our timer starts now. Ooh, okay, first kill down, that was absolutely horrific, <laughs> and we get nothing. Good to see. Good start, boys. Alas, we have hit our first snag pretty quickly. See, because if I lost in my previous episodes, I would just give the money away to, you know, whoever got lucky in the comments, which, if you like this video and subscribe to the channel, go ahead and leave a comment with your RSN down below for a chance to win the loot from this video. However, if we won, I would just stake it at the Sand Casino, which no longer exists. So, what do we do? For the time being, I'm going to do what I do best and ignore it. So, we're going to cross that bridge when we come to it, guys. Anywho, on to the math segment. So, the Wikiless Kirill Tootsie Roll at 2.5 mil per hour, and now I am no Einstein, but I can do that math pretty easily. 20 mil. Okay, the big draws from here, of course, are the Zami Spear sitting at 16 mil, the Zami Hilt at 2.8 mil, and the Staff of the Dead at 5.8 mil. So, two spears, or really one spear and any other unique, and we're pretty much sitting pretty. To be honest, I have no clue how many kills per hour I'm supposed to be getting here. I've literally never tracked this method, and I've done over a thousand kills with it, so I guess it's about time to find out. Speaking of the method, you've probably noticed that I'm doing something a little bit funky right now. Now, a lot of people melee Zami or they'll bring a group, but as this is a solo challenge, the method I'm doing is called 5-0 Zami. That just means I get 5 hits and Zami gets 0. And this works because of a few weird mechanics that I'll get into later, but first of all, let's do a quick fit check. Thought I'd light up the runway with something from my personal collection. Alright, the Zuck Helm. Gotta flex when you can, guys. Plus, this boss is a literal hemorrhoid to do off-task. We have Tebow in max range plus Ring of the Gods, since prayer does tend to be the limiting factor for trip length. And hopefully this task will last the whole 8 hours, but if not, then I, I'm not gonna count like getting another task or getting room KC for the timer, just as an FYI. Anyway, let's continue to click. A lot of people ask me how this method actually works, and the gist of it is this. So you're running around the room in circles, basically so that Zami cannot catch up to you, but there is one important part in this fight where you cross under Zami. You'll notice when I get to the other side of him, I actually red-click on the altar on the other side of the room. 
Due to a couple weird coding things, this makes Zami essentially just freeze, and he will not move to target me, and that is one of the main reasons that this method works. It's very strange, it will not work if you don't have a red X click. If you want to learn the method, I'm going to go ahead and link the video that I used in the description down below. It's the 27 tick 5 0 Zami method, so feel free to check that out. <laughs> Dude, that was so fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. That is a great way to start. Holy crap. Dude, literally one more unique. How cl how far are we? We're 5 minutes in. This is this is literally my third kill, bro. We're we're 5 minutes in. One more unique and we've literally already won. And I'll take that. God Sword Charm 3. Very nice. <laughs> that was like two kills apart. Very cool. Yoink. And that's also the end of the first hour. That's actually not too bad, guys. We got uh, one spear, an elite clue, two god sword shards. Um, I would say that's above average. That's actually a pretty good hour. And we got 29 kills. So a little bit under 30, which is higher than I thought. And it means we are definitely going to need a second Slayer test. But that's okay. Well, that is, I think, my last kill for the trip. I'm going to leave here because I want to waste one of my greater demon kills on uh, one of these minions here. So we're just going to dip out real quick. Honestly, a pretty sick, uh, pretty sick trip too. Like that was really, really good. We got uh, 44 kills, which is better than I thought we would get. Um, we got a Zami spear, two God Sword shards, and an Elite clue, and also a Dragon stone. But if you complain about uh, rare drop table drops and God Wars, uh, nobody loves you. Anyway, it's about streaming time for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the stream and continue doing this task here. If you would like a kiss from me personally, go ahead and go to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash tastylife. I'm live pretty much every day, five days a week. So yeah, do that right now. If I'm live, come in and say the word potatoes and I will give you a kiss. All right, thank you. I'm going to go back and uh, get back in there. Well, I have been Turiel skipping for roughly three and a half hours, almost four hours at this point. And no, that is not a joke. That is actually what has been happening. I've been looking for another task and unfortunately we have not gotten one. Uh, you might also say, hey, what happened? Uh, you said you are going to stream it. We didn't see any stream clips. That's because I didn't get a single thing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. Except for this cool clip of me dying. You can't go anywhere. You have no money. You lost all the blackjack table, you fucking idiot. Yes, that is... I am talking about myself. Um, I want advice on how not to be weird. I have zero... Anyway, I'm going to be going back, but with a Serp Helm instead of my Slayer Helm. I know it's not ideal, but I think it should probably be okay. Plus, I really need to get this video out before my editor leaves, but I'm going to sit here for the rest of the night and grind it. It's 2.30 in the morning, and I have like four more hours, basically. We're, we're roughly halfway through, so I'm going to keep clicking the boss, and I will keep you guys updated. You know what's actually super freaking weird right now is that since it's so late at night, not a lot of people are on the game. Oops, messed up. Uh, not a lot of people are on the game, which makes the servers so, like shockingly good. I haven't had servers this responsive in ever. It's so weird playing like this that it's it's actually messing me up because the servers are too good right now. I don't like this. I'm scared. I need my mom to come pick me up. I am not even an hour in, and I can already tell that this is way fucking worse off task. Excuse my language. This is way freaking worse off task. I'm eating so much more food. I am using so many more sweets because my stamina is so low. Because every kill takes ten and a half hours. Um, but, I don't know. At this point, it's a little bit too late to go back and hunt another task. Because it, it could potentially take another, you know, three or four hours at this point. So I'm going to persevere. If the rest of this trip works out pretty well, then I'll go ahead and keep doing an off task. But if it gets too brutal, I'm going to go back and hunt a task. Dying on my hot cry, man. Completed. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I just, uh, I'm a little. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A second Zamorakian spear. With that one officially, I believe we've won. I believe we've uh, done ourselves a bit of a W here. That is honestly really great to see because I've been at this for a couple hours off task now, and honestly, it's a. Uh, it, it really is detrimental. It is so much worse than being on task. My kills drop by roughly 50%. I want to say I'm getting only about 20 kills per hour now. Granted, I'm tired and I'm doing it less efficiently and I died that one time, but we don't have to talk about that. For anyone curious where we are right now, we are approaching the final hour. We just got a little resupply from a friend of ours, so that was very, very nice. Thank you very much. 
No more drops to speak of yet, but honestly, I wouldn't be mad even if we didn't get another drop. Um, I would still love to see a Staff of the Dead just to fill that collection log slot, but I won't complain if we don't get anything. Um, I'm going to buckle down, keep on clicking, because we are almost done with this, guys. Oh, and a KC update, we're about 150 kills in. I'll check the loot tracker in a sec here, but yeah, we are slowing down a little bit, obviously, because we haven't been on task, but still pretty decent pace. <laughs> Wait, did I get another one? <laughs> Dude, why am I so lucky on these? <laughs> Bro, oh man, we're cleaning up today. This has been a fantastic one. All right. It's literally too easy for us. Dude, what the sh- what? Stop! Stop it! Stop! Just give me the- Oh, dude, just give me the- oh. Dude, just give me the- Give me the Staff of the Dead! I don't want any of these things. I actually don't. Just give me the Staff of the Dead so I can be done with this stupid log besides the pet, man. Triple back to back? Oh, wait, that kind of counts. Come on, that kind of counts. We're, give, we're giving that one a yes. That one is absolutely a yes. Give me the God Sword Shard. All right, give me give me the quadruple back-to-back. -back. You freaking won't. You absolute coward. All right, to be honest with you guys, we are a little over seven and a half hours in at this point, and this is going to be the final kill of this trip, and honestly, the entire episode, because at this point, it's not really worth going back, getting KC, and doing all that. Just for uh, 20 more minutes of Zami. Plus, we have absolutely demolished the profit per hour on this one anyway. We've gotten extremely lucky, so <laughs> I'm really excited to go back to the bank and actually tally up what we got here. This is probably one of the best intros back to Sweaty Sunday that I could have possibly hoped for. So, final kill. What do we get? A rune Skazmatar. I'm going to pick it up just for prosperity's sake, I suppose. Not prosperity. Posterity? I don't know what word I was going for there. But uh, anyway, let's go tally up our loot, guys. Okay, so before we go into the final price check here, just wanted to say that obviously I did not pick up all of the loot because there's a bunch of little meaningless drops that, you know, I would much rather have like a brew or a shark or a restore instead of taking up that space. So I'm only going to price check everything that I actually picked up, which is all my inventory here. And for those curious, we ended up getting 174 kills, which is roughly uh, 22 kills per hour, a little bit higher. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the first episode back with Sweaty Sunday, we made 51 mil. Holy shit, that's actually kind of a lot. That is way more than the 20 mil we were supposed to make. We got pretty spooned on the Zami Spears, so that was kind of nice, but um, yeah. This turned out really freaking well. Anyways, guys, I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. If you guys want me to do another boss, leave it down below. Let me know what you want to do. And honestly, I have decided I'm just going to give it away for this episode. I'm going to give away this 50 mil. So like the video, subscribe, and drop a comment with your RSN and the boss you want me to do next week. Anyway, I love you guys all. And remember, eh, let me, let me, let me zoom. Let me, I can't zoom in any further. Whatever. Stay tasty. <laughs> Don't even think for a second, nigga you might need a moment You were only given one shot like a buzzer beater but you stoned it Break house, break house, break house, break house Living breaks at the studio, here's a break on the house Here's a break on the house, yeah you know they're coming quick Just like swatting the drug bus but I'm slick bitch, call me Rick